Thank you for agreeing to this interview as a part of my history class at Sacramento City College. As part of this class, we are acting as working historians by doing this interview. Our goal is to create a record of the COVID-19 era because we know this will be seen as a historic moment in the future. I have a few questions for you. Right. Let's begin. Okay, so first question is, how did you, how did going through COVID change your routine as, uh, as uh, at a daily basis? So at a daily basis with COVID, I remember back in March, a lot of businesses are getting shut down. You had to look at the requirements, what's essential, what's not. However, due to the part that we're in the essential business of providing electronics for other people, being able to do their work, they need computers, they need laptops, they need software. That is stuff that we offered. So during that time, yeah, there was a period where everything was shut down. However, through this, us being an essential business, we were able to provide a lot of this equipment, uh, a lot of the computers, a lot of the different stuff to help people also mm -hmm. in this time so that way they can go ahead and do this business. So it actually was a huge help for us. Makes sense, makes sense. So what, what exactly do you do um, for your business? So I make sure I manage the business. We do a lot of buying and selling. I make sure that we're able to buy a product at a resale value to mm -hmm. make sure that we can generate a profit from that. And at the same time, make sure everybody's able to pay it, that my income is greater than what I'm uh, putting it into the business. So it's just electronics based, just kind of wholesale type deal. Pretty much wholesale. And at the same time, we have retail. We have a couple of retail location stores. Uh, so we do retail, but on the bigger part, not to keep our shelves stocked up, we do wholesale and anything past a certain amount of inventory that we have, we instantly wholesale it to make sure our shelves are uh, ready for new inventory to come in. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. So the second question is, uh, did you make any changes to your goals while going through COVID-19? Through COVID, to be more prepared whenever the pandemic hit, how many people needed the electronics. There was times that we were already selling out. So what we did to prepare ourselves to buy more of inventory, to know which items are more in high demand, we kept those on shelves at all time, already prepared for mm -hmm. the customer coming in. So that way we have it on hand always for that customer. So you kind of saw like more of like an influx of, of customers just because everyone's at home, everyone needs products and right, electronics. Right. and. Exactly. So the stuff that we've seen that is needed the most, computers, uh, different programs, stuff like that. The stuff that I've seen that's available to help them do their business, we kept more of that in hand to make sure that we're able to provide it to the customer at all times without being mm -hmm. like some of the other businesses that say they're sold out. I wanted to make sure we say we have it and to know already what's going to be able to come in and not to sell the stuff that's in high demand at the time. That makes sense. Okay, um, so did, did COVID change the way you connect with your friends, family, and the community? It did, because a lot of uh, the stuff that's going on with the vaccines, some people choosing to get vaccines, not choosing to get the vaccines, a lot of controversial topics. So mm -hmm. there was friends that, due to the fact you didn't get your vaccine, your booster, some of the other shots, they would distance you. But on the other fact, a lot of the friends that I had, they know my standpoint on the COVID and the virus on the vaccines and all that so it really didn't affect me with any of my friends or colleagues that makes sense okay um fourth question is what role did social media and the news play in your in your experience during COVID um the news I would say the news just played a factor of people having to work more from home a lot of people were prepared buying better equipment, already knowing that if they get laid off, if they have to work from home in an office, uh, a lot of that was put out on the news and I made sure to get the better equipment, better inventory, that way I can tell the customer I have it and it also generated my sales like that as well. Okay, that makes sense. So basically the news was just kind of helping the business kind of grow. Yeah, the news, the whole entire COVID era we grew tremendously because we had uh, we had the computers, we had the technology that when other people were not able to work from their businesses, from their locations, we were able to provide that. So for us, it was it was a huge benefit. Okay. Um, the next question is, what was the toughest thing during COVID for you? The toughest thing during COVID was uh, when I'm tired after a long day's work, a lot of the businesses that I needed to go to were shut down early. 
I know it's uh, it's uh, it's kind of how it is. It was for me. It was a little stressful because a lot of places that I needed were shut down, and not mm -hmm. operating mm -hmm. stuff that I needed. To me, that was the biggest, especially uh, in the biggest beginning. trouble. Yeah. Especially in the beginning, mm -hmm. whenever you need something urgently, and these businesses mm -hmm. are not essential. These businesses not are not able to operate, and it just made it tough because I had to put into my schedule for the next day with my work that I'm doing, already busy as we are, and sometimes you can't make, meet that time. To me, the biggest challenge was uh, when other business started shutting down, what I had to make my business run, I was not able to access it at that time. Okay, so for like a short amount of time, it was just, it was, it was tough in the beginning. Yeah, but slowly, slowly, mask mandates different. Uh, things came into effect to help us out as well to where we were able to uh, balance this out. Right, and especially when customers would come into the store, we would just make sure that, you know, there, we practice social distancing. There's right, right, right. How to put the signs up, signs how to put different uh, different literature for the customer to go ahead and see uh, in order for them to have a, a mask on, how many customers I'm able to have at the store. Sometimes there's a line outside of the store. Some of the customers didn't like that. Mm -hmm. So we'd have mm -hmm. to find a strategy to keep everybody happy. Those that don't want to wait in line also to attract them to wait that we have the product for them and have them not leave due to out of anger having to wait outside mm -hmm. to the limit of the store. Those kind of challenges, yeah, it was it was tough, but thank God we got through it. It was all good. The customers were patient and we were able to try to keep everyone as satisfied as possible. Definitely, definitely trying to keep up with all the mandates and all the, right, that's very all important. the rules. It's just of course. a tough, tough time, but we got through it. So. Of course, of course. The next question is, uh, how did going through COVID change the way you think about the future? Going through COVID, this was one year, looking at this entire year that you can't really think you know everything. Mm -hmm. There's surprises that can come at you out of nowhere, especially uh, as soon as COVID hit, different requirements, different mandates went into effect. Uh, you just have to be prepared. You just have to be ready. You can't think that the way you're running your business is going to be running smooth as always. You always have to be prepared and expect something of this nature to come about and get on with it. Because uh, if you're not pre prepared for situations like this, it can crush you. It can fully put you out of business. Your money can run out. Mm -hmm. And what this has taught me that thankfully we were prepared. We were uh, we were ready to take this on and due to everybody wanting the uh, technology we had helped us out a lot but I would say uh, in business you never know what's expected ahead just mm -hmm. be ready also for the worst have capital put up for you uh, for situations like this and I think you'll balance yourself out just mm -hmm. with keeping the momentum going forward Okay, okay. So basically just always be ready for, for anything. You have to be. Especially yeah. after COVID. You have to be. Yeah, you can't think business is always going very smooth and good. On top of it all, starting into a new business. We are a new business. We are going on our third year. You have to, a, a lot of people, I like to hear the critics, what they got to tell me about opening up a business first, because I know the stuff that's causing other business to fail and that's what i wanted to focus on the most is the failures of other business to make sure that we make those the mm -hmm. strengths of our business and by having that mindset it helped me co help me battle covid more effectively okay okay so mindset did play a huge, huge of course role. yep so the last question for today is uh if you could relive the past two years what would you do differently if I could relive the past two years, what would I do differently? I would have already more employees uh, available at the time. I would have different tasks for a different employee already prepared instead of having uh, two or three employees for the same kind of jobs, but instead have different employees for one required job and have that employee fully master it just like that instead of having three employees doing a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. But instead, I would prepare myself to have each employee for each and every different task of the business to prepare us that way. Because sometimes one's doing that, one's doing that, and they're inner, inner affecting each other's work because uh, they're not keeping communication with one another. Mm -hmm. So that was that's what I would have done better. Gotcha, gotcha. So more focused um, work, I guess you could say. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, well, thank you for sharing your thoughts and your time. I'm going to end this interview in just a moment. Um, this project is for my history class as a part of a co collaboration with Stanford University oh, cool. and their Life in Quarantine Global Archive. If you approve, our interview will be housed online, so we will be online content creators. If you do not want this inter interview shared, it will only go to my professor, Holly Piscopo, from Sacramento City College and a Stanford Fellow this year. If you'd like to ask questions, I can give her uh, contact information. Are you comfortable with being online? Yeah, sure, no problem. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much uh, thank for, you for your looking. time. All right. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Uh,